Hi Scorpio, Sun, Moon, and Ascendant. This is Dane, and I'm going to be doing your November 15th to the 30th, 2022 reading for you. Now I ask if this reading resonates with you. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. If you're interested in any of the cards that I'm using, they will all be listed in the description box below. Now before we begin this reading, let us clear the energy space, raising our own energy vibration, and releasing any negativity. This cleanse and meditation will be accompanied by a loud sound. So take a nice deep breath in, exhaling whenever it feels comfortable for you. Releasing all negativity from the body like storm clouds. Letting yourself feel calm, centered, and at peace as we enter into this safe and loving space. Before we begin this, this reading, let's ask Divinity God to bless this reading, to move us forward in grace, love, and peace to let all that is positive, beautiful, and uplifting to our lives come forward, to keep back all that is negative, hurtful, and hateful. So let's see what energy we have to be mindful of during this time. Angels and spirit guides show me clearly. We have the two of pentacles. Scorpio, we're trying to balance a lot. And we can feel that we're juggling everything. And the one thing that's really being sacrificed is ourselves. So just be very aware of this. We can also find that our emotions are running very high and yet we're not paying proper attention to our emotions because we feel like I'll do that later. I'll focus on that later. I'll, I'll, you know, I'll deal with, it's almost like I'll deal with that nonsense once everything is done. And we have to realize our emotions aren't nonsense. They need to be honored. They need to be respected. They need to be ta taken into consideration. Let's see what the tarot has to say. Angels and spirit guides, show me clearly. Guide this reading and show me clearly. Angels and spirit guides. Angels and spirit guides. Show me clearly. Guide this reading. Alright. Now, I'm going to show you the cards because I know that people like it. If you don't, you can fast forward through this. This is the Eight of, of Cups. You have the Cups emblem here in the Eight. The Knight of Swords. The Knight of Swords. Justice. Two of Cups. And the Seven of Wands. Getting very Joan of Arc energy from this card, which I, which I love. Okay. It's funny because we feel like we're, we're in the midst of a battle. And it can be a battle with somebody that we love. But this person isn't always as honest with us as we would like them to be. Now we have air sign energy coming forward with the Knight of Swords. And this is Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is somebody who hides their words they just they just hide their words there's very strong libra energy here but it can also be that there is something of legal issues coming forward and the person the person lies the person hides their words you're not getting the full story so just be aware of that there's a healing that you're connecting with after a time of tremendously long battles a sense of i'm always fighting but i'm always fighting by myself like i'm always left holding you know holding the bag, you know, left with all the responsibilities, left with all the, the practicalities. And there's almost a feeling of like, when is it my turn just to be, 
the spirit saying young and free and independent and, and just moving along in the way that we see other people move along rather carefree. And that might not be your role. It can be something that we would want, you know, or we think that we want. But in the long run, I'm not seeing it as something that you'd actually be be like happy with. Like there there's a there's a responsible nature to you that is coming forward and it's kind of like be proud of it. Not not many people can do what you do. We are crowned with the eight of cups. We're walking away from something we once thought we would love. There's a profound ending coming forward. And it's after a long time of battles. It's after a long time of of feeling overwhelmed and having everything put on our shoulders. And it's almost like somebody was like, oh, well, you'll never leave or you'll just always be here. And they, they took advantage of that. And it's like, well, okay, that's what you thought. But now I'm holding the higher ground. Now I'm moving forward in the place that I need to be for me. When it comes to justice, we're putting things into balance and things are going to be put into balance during this time. Now, if we're born on the cusp with Libra or we have strong Libra energy in our chart, we're going to find that very healing for us. That practicality accompanied with our own intensity is going to be very good, that balancing energy. And we've actually had a hard time with balancing energy during this time. You know, we're going to find that we're either one extreme or the other extreme, and we know we need to balance in the middle, but it's going to be something that's rather difficult for us to do. So just be aware of that. With this ending, there there is a sense of, there's more out there than I realized. There's almost a sense of, like, I've sold myself short, and now we're not doing that anymore. And that's going to be very beneficial for us. With the, with the Knight of Swords, okay, this is also, I am now the hero of my own story. I am now the one who knows what I want, knows where I'm headed, knows what I'm going after, and I'm taking the bull by the horns. So that is definitely going to be an energy for us that we need to acknowledge. We also need to know I'm being just to me, you know, instead of sitting there and saying, oh, well, how would this person feel? And how would that person feel? And how will this person react? And what is that person thinking? It's like, now I'm being just to me. Now I'm, I'm seeing what really matters to me. I'm embracing a healing. I'm embracing a centering and I'm moving forward because we're done. We're done with all the fighting. We're done with all the arguments. We're done with all the chaos. We've, we've been in that energy for just like way too long and it hasn't served us. You know, it hasn't built us the world that we wanted. It has, it's caused us, like it's caused us, you know, upset stomachs and, and feeling drawn and tired and overwhelmed. And yet certain things are out of our control. So now we're stepping back and we're saying, I'm not going to constantly be fighting. I'm not going to constantly, you know, be on the defense. It's, it's wearing me down. And now it is a time to be, you know, to rise up. Now it is a time for an ascension. So let's see. Let's go deeper. Angels and spirit guides, show me clearly. Guide this reading and show me clearly, angels. And spirit guides, angels and spirit guides, show me clearly. Guide this reading and show me clearly. Yeah. Okay. So the bonus card that we have here is the 10 of swords. And that makes perfect sense. Like I'm overwhelmed. I'm done. You know, this isn't what I'm doing anymore. This is, a, this is my minor arcana Scorpio card. And what that means is it's the dying away of the old self, the rebirth of the new. We are seeing ourselves reborn. And as we're embracing this energy with the three of, of cups and the, the eight of, and the eight of cups, we're looking at people who build us up. For a really long time, we had been seeking the approval of people who would never give it to us. They just wouldn't. And now we're starting to see ourselves moving forward in a way that it's like, this is what I want. This is what I need. This is where I'm headed. This is what's important to me. And if that means some kind of like uncomfortable endings or uncomfortable conversations, like this isn't working out the way that I need it for me, that's what we're going to be having. With the four of pentacles, there's vampiric energy around our voice and what we want to say. There's almost like we hold the, the tongue because maybe this person holds the purse strings or maybe this person, you know, always brings something back and, and makes us feel guilty about it. Or somebody has told us we don't have the right to speak about certain things. And it's like, no, all that vampiric energy that has kept us, you know, small and, and huddled in on ourselves, 
we're done with it. We are now moving forward in a, a ferocity and in an intensity that is quite beautiful. It, when it comes to the nine of, of pentacles and justice, there's a real sense of I'm, honor, I'm honoring the hard work that I've done. I'm honoring every, all the blood, sweat, and tears I've put into this. And now I'm starting to see myself reap the rewards, you know, move forward in the way that I need to. With the page of cups and the two of cups, we are a student. We are a student of our healing, but the page of cups is us. This is going to be a time where we're learning a lot about healing, about connecting with what we want, about looking at the bigger picture of where we need to be. And there's a real sense of stabilizing ourselves, centering ourselves, and seeing ourselves. And as we do so, with the Ten of Wands and the, the Seven of Wands, there's a sense of, I'm done with these battles. You know, I've carried such a heavy load my whole entire life. And now it's time for the beauty to start. Now it's time for things to start moving in my favor, moving towards blessings for me. We are going to find that this is a time of learning. Remember, we're in Scorpio time frame up until the 21st of November. And what we're going to find is that during this time, really seeing things a lot more clearly, there are shadows that are being made known to us, secrets that are being revealed, things that hadn't been said or we carried with us or that had been said when we were younger or when we were in a bad relationship and we carried those words with us and it was like, well, that was truth because why would they say them? You know, there has to be some level of truth here. Sometimes people are just jerks and acknowledging that and understanding that that some people say things that are hurtful and hateful because they have hurt and hatefulness in them. That's important. We need to be just. We need to be just and honor our hard work. We're going to be looking at things and saying, oh, well, look, see what I still have to do. You know, see how far I still have to go. And it's like, yeah, but look how far you've come. Let us honor that. The page of cups. There's a connection here with our child self. There's a connection here with looking at things like a child would, with wonderment and intensity and beauty and and a sense of of diving deeper into where we need to be for us. That's going to be very important. The sense of why? Well, how does that work? Why is that? You know, how kids constantly, constantly question until you're like, oh my gosh, just stop. That's what we're going to be doing. We have this questioning energy around us and we're going to think, oh my gosh, just stop. Like, you know, it's getting annoying. And yet it's how we're learning. It's how we're processing the world around us. Everything is new. It does feel like so much is new. Like what we're seeing, how we're seeing it, how we're connecting with it, it feels new. And we have to process it. We have to be able to decode it so that we can move forward in the way that we need to be. Because with the Ten of Swords, I mean, with the Ten of Wands, we've been carrying a lot for a really long time. And it's brought us to the point where at times we only see the dirt on our shoes. We only see the hardships and pains that we've been through. And it's like enough is enough. It moves us to our subconscious tarot energy. And that is the star And the King of Pentacles. The star says, and hunting we will go on this ribbon right here. We are going to see ourselves moving towards our dreams, our wishes. You know, isn't it, isn't in Peter Pan, like the movie where they, they're they going hunting, like they're going to go on an adventure when, when, um, Michael, I think it's Michael and Peter come. I don't know if those names are right, but and there's a sense here of I'm I'm going after an adventure. And that's what I see. Like I'm going after what I've wished for. And I wish for an adventure. The King of Pentacles, Earth Sign Energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Prosperity, Success, Abundance. We're being very practical about things. We can get annoyed with ourselves for being too practical. Oh, yeah, you have to plan everything out. You know, where's the whimsy? Where's the fun? Like somebody's, they're nagging us about this. And it's like, stop it. You know, stop it. I need to look at things. I need to see what I want. I need to see what I need. I need to see the connection and then move forward in it because I'm following my dream. And that person's dream isn't necessarily yours. So just just be aware. Like somebody's coming in here and, and like they're just kind of running their mouth. And it's like, you don't know. You don't know what I'm planning and you don't know what I really want because people will be surprised with your tenacity and your follow through and your, you know, just kind of the sense of I'm changing the game. I'm changing the game because the old rules, they don't work for me. The old goals, they're not my goals anymore. It brings us to our subconscious energy to be mindful of. This is the three of wands. 
okay? So he's really concerned about three people, three ways of going about things, three ways of doing things, and that can be overwhelming. So we need to kind of do things one at a time, but we also have something opening to us and we're afraid of how do I move forward towards this? How do I handle this? How do I balance this? So just be very aware of this energy here. All right. All right, Scorpio. I hope this reading has resonated with you. I wish you nothing but light, love, peace, and happiness. May harmony always be with you. I'm sending loving, healing energy to each and every one of you. I love you all and stay safe. Let's end this reading with a meditation, a clearing away of negative energy, a raising of our positive energy as we embrace the power, intensity, and beauty of this time and of ourselves. So take a nice deep breath in, exhaling whenever it feels comfortable for you. May you move forward in peace and in harmony, Scorpio. May blessings, prosperity, and abundance always be with you. God bless.